The Convert AD Plus. D to A conversion has been an integral part of the Dangerous Music legacy since 2002, when the monitor set the standard for mastering engineers worldwide. Since then, our D to A's have been utilized in products like the Source, DAC ST, D-Box, and culminating in the Convert 2 and the Convert 8 next generation converters. With this legacy established, we sought to craft an ultimate A to D, painstakingly designed, without compromise, adhering only to the core philosophies of transparent yet musical that have come to define dangerous, the Convert 80 Plus is profoundly detailed to capture your sound with an unrestricted, potent low end and an unhyped clarity that holds true from the mid-range through to the open and articulate highs. Feature set. Selectable sample rates. Press the button to cycle through six sample rates from 44.1 to 192 with no messy menus to navigate. USB Auto Detect. Open a session and the sample rate will be selected automatically. This is especially useful when the Convert AD Plus is part of an aggregate device group with the Convert 2 or the Convert 8 D to A's, thus allowing users to create a system that will function like a singular virtual interface. When engaged, the selected sample rate LED will blink slowly. The other LEDs will all light solid and sample rate selection from the front panel will be locked out. When deselected, the selected sample rate LED only will remain lit. Sample rate selection changes can now be executed manually from the front panel. Note, by default, the Convert 80 Plus ships with this feature engaged. To turn this feature off, press and hold the sample rate select button for three seconds. To re-enable the automatic mode, plug in a valid USB connection to Core Audio for Mac or ASIO for Windows and hold the sample rate select button for three seconds. Note, this mode is only available in internal word clock mode when the word clock button is dimly lit. This mode will be overridden if the Convert 80 Plus is clocked from the word clock input when the word clock button is brightly lit or used as the word clock master when the word clock button is blinking. Tip, in internal word clock mode, when the word clock button is dimly lit, the Convert 80 Plus will generate word clock signal. This means it can be used as the word clock master while in the USB auto mode. Thus, all devices connected to the word clock port or clocked from the digital outputs can follow software prompted sample changes automatically. Calibration. Need to calibrate for mastering at minus 14? For Apogee at minus 16? Or for Avid at minus 18? Forget the inscrutable software mousetrap. Press the button for instant gratification. Dual inputs. Toggle between two discrete selectable stereo inputs. For example, connect two mono or one stereo mic preamp to input one for tracking and use input two for mixing. Connect your final mix bus here, post outboard processing, and then send it back into the DAW for capture. Or use input one and input two for tracking to AB sonic options. Connect two stereo or four mono mic preamps. Obviously, you will have to mute and unmute in the DAW for auditioning individual mono paths. Or use input one to send your individual tracks back into the session after outboard processing, thus committing and avoiding recall settings in the future. And set input two for mixing. Connect your final mix bus here, post outboard processing, and then send it back into your DAW for capture. Note, these inputs cannot be selected simultaneously. That's called a mixer. Custom meter. This premium custom crafted digital meter simultaneously indicates peak over average. This reveals the audio's crest factor by supplying both RMS, or average information, and peak, the transient information, aiding in your quest to retain dynamics and music's emotive properties. Tip, the meters change from green to yellow at the user-determined calibration point. In other words, minus 14, minus 16, or minus 18, depending on the calibration selected. At minus six, the LEDs turn red and the scale changes. Instead of 1 dB steps per LED, they are very refined 0.5 dB steps. When the three-word over indicator turns the last LED from green to yellow, this signifies that three consecutive samples have clipped. This is the traditional limit of tolerance for a CD pressing plant to reject the project and a warning. Cease flirting with digital overs. Unless you choose to for sonic purposes. See the clip card section coming up soon. Meter scaling. Zoom allows you to view only the top 10 dB of your signal level for a finer, magnified resolution. 
Note, the outer scales are standard and the inner scale denotes zoom. The zoom or standard LED indicator will light to identify the mode selected. Tip. The difference between the peak and the average is the crest factor. Arguably this dynamic range is where the music packs its emotional punch. Thus this magnification setting is where 90% of the life of the music resides. Peak hold. There are two modes, normal and peak hold. In normal mode, the peaks will be continually and automatically refreshed. In peak hold mode, the highest peak is permanently visible until the reset button is pressed. Press once to engage peak hold mode. Press again to clear the stored peak. Press and hold to exit peak hold mode and enter normal mode. Clip guard. Do you dig pushing your A to D beyond zero into clipping for specific sonics? Clip guard will turn off the red light at your destination. In other words, your DAW, like Pro Tools. Now pesky clients worried about a red LED here and there won't harangue you, and the majority of the digital upload sites will not reject your opus, since the red light overs will not appear. When engaged, the clip guard button will light bright red, and the zero dBFS meter segment will turn solid green. When clip guard is actively eliminating clipping at your destination, for example, turning off the red LED in Pro Tools, the zero segment will turn red. The over indicator, the last LED, functions the same regardless of clip guard status. Thus, it will still turn yellow at three consecutive overs to provide visual feedback that you are indeed clipping. Tip, if you can hear clipping and engage clip guard, it will sound identical. Clip guard simply disables the clip LED in your DAW or destination device, but you will still be audibly clipping. Proceed with caution. Too many overs will sound remarkably unpleasant. The historical CD pressing plant standard was no more than three consecutive overs. Tip, unlike turning down the master fade level, clip guard does not alter the unclipped audio in any way. Word clock. There are three modes, internal, external, and master. Normal mode, with the button deselected, a dim light, the AD plus will send out sync via all digital outputs, including word clock. External mode, Selecting this button, bright LED, will make the AD Plus slave to an external word clock source. For example, if utilizing a master studio clock, this would distribute word clock to the AD Plus. The sample rate LEDs will cycle through until the lock light turns from red to green, indicating that sync has been achieved. Master mode. To press the button for five seconds, the LED will blink. Now the AD Plus is the master studio clock. Outputting word clock and all your other digital sources will slave to it. Tip, try utilizing the Convert 80 Plus as the master clock. Our high profile beta testers found it remarkably revealing and detailed. And this is the best sounding clock audition to date and we've tried everything. Transformer. Click the Transformer insert button and engage some of Chris Meath's sonic wizardry via a pair of custom implemented Hammond transformers. That's a hundred years of Canadian design. Just another example of our unique approaches for generating real analog artifacts with legitimate character. The transformer tightens up the low end with a gentle roll off starting at 100 Hz and a half dB down at 40 Hz and 1 dB down around 10 Hz or so. Simultaneously, the energy removed by that curve is folded up an octave. Translation? The bass is more powerful in earbuds and small speakers. Subtle yet pleasing. On the top end side, there is a gentle rise starting at 3K to half a dB up at about 13K and 1 dB up at 20K at nominal levels. During loud average levels, like SS and a loud lead vocal, core saturation kicks in and the top end compresses gently. The outcome is heightened articulation while softening the shearing at peaks. Note, the transformer is engaged even when the knob is fully counterclockwise. It is in series, not parallel. The button utilizes a true hardwire bypass. When it's bypassed, none of the transformer or emphasis circuitry is in the audio path. 
Insert the effect by selecting the Transformer Insert button with the knob fully counterclockwise. Tip. The subtle tightening of the bottom end will often lessen the need for compression to low-end content, like bass and kick drums. Many vocal tracks will also pick up a hint of interest from the subtle effects of running your mix through our transformers. Emphasis. Emphasis is a shelving EQ compressor with a low turnover frequency that induces second-order harmonic distortion. The EQ starts boosting at 300 Hz. Imagine a Bax EQ with a top shelf that goes down to 300 Hz instead of 1.8 kHz and boosts 1 dB when the emphasis knob is at 12 o'clock and 2 dB full on. Blend in a bit of mid warmth and sparkle. Emphasis turns up the level gently by adding frequencies between the notes of your source. The compressor lowers the gain blended back into the transformer with the turnover point at about minus 14 and reaching Unity right at full scale. Click the Transformer Insert button and engage some of Chris Muth's sonic wizardry via a pair of customized Hammond transformers and twist the emphasis knob to the right to taste. In summary, Transformer adds a bit of sheen while gently smoothing out the harsh artifacts, not as dramatically as a de and the emphasis knob drives a bit of compressed warm and edge. Rear Panel Outputs Dual AES ADAT Spitif Optical Spitif Coaxial Word Clock USB. Now it's time to sit back and enjoy making your music. Thank you from the entire Dangerous team. Thank you.